Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode that I've been meaning to do for a very long time. It's been over six months <laughs> since I put out the last video which was a Saints Row 2 montage of just random funny moments I did in a previous live stream. Um, I'm joined here with Tex. Uh, some of you guys probably are familiar hey. with him. Yep, hello. Mm -hmm. And um, so the reason for my absence i guess you can call it was mainly because i needed to go and look for a job i've been looking for a job for quite a while um it's getting quite kind of desperate at the moment since i'm just pretty much applying for anything but unfortunately not many uh responses most of them have been just you know the generic kind of like sorry didn't quite make it or whatever I mean, there were... Yeah, like mail one, merge responses. Yeah, there were like one or two few, you know, phone interviews, but not none actually in person, which is unfortunate. Mm. It's kind of annoying because it's like uh, Catch-22. It's like, how am I meant to get experience if no one offers a job and then... Yes, exactly. Yeah, so... I mean, all, all companies want to hire people with experience more than someone who has absolutely mm. none. <sighs> but, yeah, I mean, there was even a, at there was a, even a news report uh, not too long ago about, um, about basically young Australians, or just people in general, I guess you could generalize it, but in this case, it was mm. Australians, young Australians who um, couldn't find a job despite you know having the qualifications to uh do do one from taking a university course mm. or whatever and it's just like well what do we do then other than just pray to uh just hope that luck somehow decides to grant us one or whatever. Well, don't, don't be like that. You make me nervous. I'm gonna try and get into <laughs> IT security. So if it's like that, it's, it's fucking it's... you're living on the streets. Uh, well, I'll become like a mall cop or something and donuts all day and shit. Yeah, it's kind of it's 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 somewhat depressing, um, but when you do it for for, for quite a while, it's it, it can be quite um, demoralizing. So that's probably why I'm kind of mm. I don't know. That's why I'm kind of a bit. Not exactly positive about it as much anymore. To put it nicely. Mm. Um, but anyway, like anyways, uh, let's see. Let's talk about a bit about Splinter Cell Blacklist itself. It's been out for mm. quite a long time, so it's nothing new. It's definitely not a new game by any means. Um, I haven't actually played any of the single player since this last uh, episode with the footage that I'm currently running. Um, because I didn't want to like do any more single player stuff until, unless I'm, if I'm recording for a video. Uh, but what I have been doing instead is been, I've been playing the online multiplayer half. And I'll tell you that, uh, Ubisoft really dropped the ball on that. There's like, it's, it's, it's just hackers and cheaters galore everywhere. Like, when, you're pretty when much was guaranteed. The they released? What do you mean? What? Well, because I remember you were, you were telling me about how how bad it is. In fact, they've almost crippled genuine gameplay. Um, it only sort of makes sense to play as a cheater now because of how... Because he said they've like stopped uh, doing fair support or something and they made it harder to play legitimately. Something like that? Um, not quite, but it's definitely reached the point where uh, you're guaranteed to be in a game with a cheater. Or, if not, then yeah. you are stuck with people who have a high skill level in the game so people who legitimately play the game wait. but they're just really really good at it so there's this wait, huge wasn't it, wasn't, wasn't, wasn't it what you said wasn't it what you said was if you join a game and you yeah the cheater thing if they if a cheater joins in didn't ubisoft make it that if you leave the game prematurely um, or the session closes, you don't get anything for the time you put into it. Um, yeah, and you yeah, have to yeah, actually well, finish the scenario. The thing is, is like, before when the, ge the game originally was uh, released, um, in multiplayer, what would happen is that they also had the option to leave a 
uh, multiplayer session uh, or a match in, in mid game whenever you wanted and uh, this was before like the cheetah thing was a major major issue but mm -hmm. shortly after it started to become kind of like a major issue what happened then was uh, Ubisoft the only thing that they really did in regards to the multiplayer was that they removed that feature so you're pretty much stuck with any cheaters that are in that mm -hmm. game with you so you pretty much have to play an entire match with someone who is either blatantly or secretly cheating but in the mm. end you you can tell who's cheating or not i mean though the lag does not where, logic in that well the original intention was that when you think about originally like you, you obviously don't anticipate there to be cheaters in your game but no. um, since there is such a large amount of them now it seems kind of kind of counterproductive to remove that feature to leave in the middle of the game so mm. you're pretty much forced to uh, force close the game to leave a match at this point which is annoying but mm. it's the only way around it which is yeah yeah and if you try to get rid of the tutor they just crash the session well the fun part is is that if you happen to be the host of the session because they don't have dedicated servers for this. This is purely hosted, you know, like a uh, peer-to-peer sort of connection. Um, yeah. So, if you happen to be the host, and the best part is when I am the host and I know there's a cheater, and obviously their side is winning, I would pretty much wait until the last minute of the last half of the match, and then force close my game. Because the satisfaction... Yeah of what happens after is just worth it because what happens <laughs> is when you force close a game and you are the host it will f it will start a host migration uh, and when that happens it basically stops the game everyone loads back into the lobby and you get absolutely no money no no anything from that entire session mm. so basically all that time that went into that match and session you get nothing for it aside from you just wasted your time <laughs> yeah what have their reactions been so far then well the thing is you can't tell what their reactions are because no like no one uses the text chat in that which is another annoying yeah. feature because you can't use the text chat when you're you when you're dead and you can't use it in the lobby mm. either there's no text chat there so it's kind of like whoa <laughs> yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. So, You're so right, you pretty much. The ball. Well, it's been this way since like one month after release. Like literally one month after the game was released, it was just rid of all the cheaters and hackers, and Ubisoft has done absolutely nothing to fix it. It's it's a point. Honestly, it sounds like the ordeal that Overkill put everyone through with Payday 2, but it just seemed like it's got worse instead. I would say Ubisoft is still far worse than Overkill. That's what, yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. That this is just worse instead. Mm. Um, but it's disappointing if you think about it, because if you think of the days of um, bloody chaos theory, I did play multiplayer with people, but even then, that, that was just, it was unique and really fun. Yep. Chaos theory is always a fun one. I've re downloaded it many times. In fact, I think last year, at some point, halfway through the year, I actually um, took out my old CD and reinstalled it and went straight for it. Oh, yeah. But I mean, I think I had to bypass the DRM because it didn't take into account 64-bit machines. So I had to like use a no CD crack or something, if I remember correctly. But regardless, it's still an amazing game, um, and it's so fun just, you know, just punching someone right in the jugular and just <laughs> hiding them in a closet with all the other 15 other bodies that are knocked out. Are you talking about the single player in Chaos Theory, or are you talking about multiplayer? Yeah, but yeah, I think you can still that you can still do that in multiplayer, can't you? Um, in multiplayer, it was Spies versus Merc, so I don't think so. Oh no, well, no, well that was a secondary, uh, that was a secondary mode. You can either do a camp, uh, a scenario, like a campaign. Oh, like a co-op thing. To, uh, yeah, co-op, and then there's the versus. Yeah, yeah. Well, in, in Blacklist, yeah. the single player campaign and the co-op are like, as far as I can tell so far, I've played all the co-op, but not the single player, but I can tell from what I've played so far of them, 
Uh, they're definitely much better than its predecessor, which was Conviction. And in, mm -hmm. but I still consider Chaos Three still better. <laughs> but yeah. Black well, is definitely in, in the right direction in regards to the stealthing part. Although mm. the mark and execute feature, I still find more of a feature for casuals, for casual players. It just it just seems like an I win button. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Wait, so I, I don't get it. What does a bot kill kill them for you or something? Or? Well, what happens is you can mark up to I think four guards, uh, depending on your mm -hmm. weapon. And when you're in range of those four people, you can just press a single button and it will kill or tase or knock out all those marked guards for you in in basically just one button press. What? Automatically. It'll yeah, just no, it takes away the effort then. Yeah, exactly. I'd, I'd rather like manually one by one knock them out, but it's... I don't know, it's just a feature that I think it's just to get more players into actually playing the game. Uh, I don't know, trying to introduce it to people who don't necessarily play stealth games that much. Mm. But, well, other than talk, that... Talk, um, talking about trying to get players into other games, how about GTA V? Yeah, uh, GTA V, good lord, Rockstar. How many delays do you need? How much time do you need? <laughs> It's been like I mean, I'll give him the fact that I want a good game. Yeah. Three days, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I will say I do want it to be perfect though, but and so I'm, I I will not whine as much because I mean if they're delaying it and it does come out as a good game, then it'll be warranted. But still, three delays, and it just keeps getting it gets so close to the release and then they're like, nah, <laughs> fuck all of you. Let's uh, delay it once again. Yeah, that, 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 that last delay, the most recent one was from March 24th to like April 14th. April 12th. 14th. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, oh, okay. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Why? But, um... Well, I, I, I saw a random comment someone saying that they're using, um, they're using like Rockstar South or like their secondary team to develop, while, develop it while they focus on a main game. Uh, like a new game they hope to release. Right. Like, it's probably just, it's just like some remark, I bet, but still, it makes sense then. Mm. The thing is, though, like, how much time do you really need to basically port over a pre-existing game onto a different mm. platform? And mm. the thing is, the PS4 and the Xbox One use x86 architecture, which is similar to the PC sort of architecture already. Um, so, mm. technically, they're PCs already. And it shouldn't require too many changes. Like, I'm not a game developer. I'm not one of those people that work in that industry, obviously. But surely you don't need, like, how, how long is it? Like, one and a half years? Well, the, I don't know. the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, is that notoriously, whenever you hear of, oh, yay, that game that was released exclusively for Instant Soul Name here is finally coming to PC, like, yay, now I get to play another laggy piece of shit. That's basically the thought that comes to mind. The reason being is, okay, if, um, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, PS2 emulators, um, you get, the, yeah, if you get the PS2 emulator, um, apparently you can't uh, play the game at full speed because given that despite it being a smaller device and it seems like it needs less resources and stuff it is actually more complex and yeah you can only get about 50% of the frame rate um, I mean x86 architecture yes but it's still like uh, porting it over uh, uh, a game from PC to Mac like it's just it, it's fucking it's, it's frustrating, yes, waiting, but who knows, maybe this might be the time that they finally break that trend where the ported game is shit. I mean, but if, if it's a bad port, oh my god, they're, they're gonna get in for fucking a shit destroyed. Storm. <laughs> they're going to get destroyed. Yeah. I they mean, have so much... They I don't know, they have a lot of people basically riding on this being yeah, a good port. Everyone's on their edge of their seat, waiting for it. Yeah. 
So they are, they have a lot of pressure on them. They need to put out mm-hmm. a good port, otherwise they are gonna take a lot of flack. <laughs> Especially with these delays, and people will keep saying like, "Oh, with all these delays, surely this will be a very polished game, absolutely minimal bugs mm-hmm. and all mm-hmm. that." Um, but well, there is a point there where you can only delay a game so much, where people will start mm. going, "Hang on." Surely you don't need this much time to uh, port a game, and if so, then who the hell is your project manager? Because they obviously have no yes, fucking exactly. idea what they're doing. Yeah. So it's well, either it's either that it's either port port incompetence in the management part, or it's just they're actually legitimately putting in a lot of effort into making this port yeah. a potentially um, great port game yeah but even then they're still going to charge well, the, full price for it for a it's like yeah. one and a half year old game two years old they're still going to charge the full price for it and us australians have to pay basically 95 bucks a hundred yeah which is totally well, not on the it last game on. gta 4 G- gta 4 I played on PC, and it doesn't run too great, but apparently, even if you got like a GTX um, Titan 780 or 980 or whatever it is, apparently it still runs sh- um, really crap, and it doesn't, you can't tweet, um, squeeze out all the FPS, even if it is a 2009 game, if, um, correctly. I would so, not be surprised. Their last port was shit. I've, um, I've was, played GTA 4, and... I honestly I didn't see anything wrong with its performance, but uh, I didn't but overly enjoy the, the game FPS, itself. Right? Fun? You couldn't get like 120 frames or something. Right? Well, I wasn't aiming for 120 frames because first of all, my monitor can't display that high, and second of all, no. But I mean, that's not the kind of thing people are going for when they when they've got titans like that. If, Not necessarily. Like, Maybe they're trying to run 4K at this point. Which is another big thing. It's probably going to be a big thing later <laughs> on. Yeah. But yeah, basic notion is they better not fuck this up. Otherwise, I'm going <laughs> to eat their faces. Yeah, because we, we both plan on getting it, don't if we? they fuck it up, I will pirate their game. I'm going to actively say I'm going to pirate their game. They get nothing for all their time. Ugh. Well, anyways, I think that's enough to wrap up this episode. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, apologies thanks. for taking so bloody long to put out another episode. And uh, please Last do subscribe, world. like, do all those things. Comment, let me know uh, what you'd like to see uh, me play in the future or whatever. Suggestions are always handy. But uh, Mm. other than that, thanks again for watching and hope to see you guys again next time. (laughs) And basically, if it wasn't penises, vaginas, naked ladies or scripts for Shakespeare's plays that were being posted in the comment section, it was almost always Bob and his many different manifestations. A lot, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The ladder. If you you don't catch it on the ladder, you can... Oh, okay. I was thinking like just running along. I thought there was like potholes. It's like a pull.